Hi guys, my name is Saurav Mohrikar. I am a data scientist. I am from iNeuron and today uh, I'm going to introduce you guys to a chain of videos related to Tableau in which we'll learn about Tableau. We'll see Tableau as a product. We'll also see what uh, impact does Tableau lay on uh, businesses and what exactly is Tableau and people just take Tableau as data visualization tool which is slightly far from it right so uh, what we need to understand is that what is tableau how companies and organizations are using tableau and how can data visualization lay impact on the organization for a longer for for both the short term and the long term goals over here right so uh, without wasting any time what i'll do is i'll, I'll take you guys uh, to uh, understand let's let's start by understanding what exactly is tableau let's let's understand tableau if you understand tableau Right, uh, Tableau has basically three portions over here. If you look at, you know, uh, breaking down the entire Tableau tool, one is of course uh, related to data visualization. Right, there is a data visualization aspect as well. Right, so we have a data and we visualize the data. This is where Tableau functions best, and it's it's uh, the part which all of us are aware of. There is another part which is called as data modeling. Now, data modeling is nothing but we'll understand uh, data modeling to its depth and what magic can data modeling create, right? If the companies are able to do it properly with their data, what magic can data modeling create is what we're going to see, right? Data modeling is majorly preparing your data after cleaning, after, you know, um, uh, if you want to add some columns to the data, if you want to add, remove some columns or remove the data or clean it up. You can still go for something called as data modeling in which we connect various tables. We connect different tables so that these tables can talk to each other. And once data modeling is there, a lot of uh, the scope of analysis for uh, any particular tool increases five to seven times over here, right? So that's why data modeling becomes really, really important. And third part is, of course, let's call it reporting over here. Reporting or publishing as we call it in Power BI. Reporting is once you make a dashboard, how can you share it up with people? Uh, there is uh, something that you should know that once we make a dashboard, once we save a dashboard, Tableau first allows you to share it in Tableau Cloud. That is whatever you work you do on Tableau. The, the first thing that Tableau does is that it shares, it basically keeps that work in Tableau Cloud so that in case you lose a local system, the entire work of yours will be saved in Tableau Cloud. And you can actually go to Tableau Cloud if you're online. You can actually, uh, you know, alter your uh, dashboards over there, create new dashboards and can start working, save your work over there as well. So it's both kind of offline and online work. And once you have your dashboards ready in Tableau Public, you can download the dashboard to your local system or whichever local system you are working on. Isn't that cool, right? So that is something that Tableau does. So data visualization, data modeling and reporting are the three aspects of Tableau. Now, uh, let's move on to how can we download and install Tableau in our local system. So what we'll do is uh, we will go to Tableau. Public, right? We'll go for Tableau public download. We'll just or search this in Google and let's go to the first page it opens up and it goes to something like this. Right now it's taking me to the uh, page where we can straight away download Tableau Public. But I don't want to start from here. Let me start from, let's say resources. I think resources will take us to something which is more uh, common over here. I want to under, I want you guys to make uh, use of uh, the entire Tableau product. So what I'll do is I'll just go for I'll just put in Tableau in the Google bar and this is where it takes me. Now here I'll be able to understand all the products of Tableau. I'll be able to understand all the solutions provided by this particular company. And then what are the resources? What are the free resources? What are the paid resources and partners? I think a glimpse of this is very, very important. You definitely should go to what is Tableau, build a data culture and all these kind of articles. All these articles should be read by a aspirant who is, you know, uh, passionate about data visualization. Then if you look at the products of Tableau, we look at appliance and pricing, our platform, Tableau Pulse, Tableau AI, Tableau Desktop, Tableau Server, Tableau Cloud. Tableau Cloud is, of course, the product which I was just mentioning a few minutes ago. Tableau's Desktop is uh, the paid version of the higher version over here, right? Tableau Prep. And then uh, this is what we are going to use, basically, Tableau Public here. 
this is the one this is the version which is the free version and for learning we'll move on to this particular version there are certain elements which gets added to tableau desktop and rest of the other tableau products so we'll move on we'll try and move on to that as well while uh, we cover our journey over here but tableau public is the right place to start up right and this is the right place uh, where you can actually start learning about tableau once we are through with basics of tableau and certain basic things that we need to learn about tableau then we can move on to higher versions like tableau desktop so uh, the first thing that you guys need to do is to click on this and download this so i click on tableau public and i'll go to tableau public and i'll be taken to that link from where you know uh, i actually came out of just a minute i think uh, right so if i go for sign up for tableau public it'll ask me my name and everything over here here you just give the details let me just give the details over here you know i'll i'll go for ineuron.ai perhaps i'll go for a saved password over here i'll confirm the password right and once i do that i'll right so this will create my account and now you can actually go to tableau home page and you could go to tableau products over here or if if this is giving you trouble you can definitely go to this particular link which we started with and it will take you straight away to the tableau public download right we'll just download the app click on download the app you can just click on this it's a very very easy download again the same information is asked over here you just give the information close it up and something uh, uh like i'll just show it in my dialog downloads over here mm. so i'll click on this tableau download and i'll enter my details over here once i enter my details you can click on download the app right and if the download doesn't start automatically you can click on uh, this go to windows and it starts downloading the setup over here right so this is downloading the setup let the setup gets downloaded all right the download has happened and once the download is there you can just click on it it's a setup download i think all of you would have gone through this at least once in your life right you would have definitely downloaded and set up something on your local desktop now what we can do is we can just click on i agree and uh, don't set product usage data probably you can just click on install and install tableau it's a very simple procedure it's just installing a you know a, a web browser on your computer right it'll be very easy it'll be very straightforward and very easy now what we can do is uh, once we are done with this i'll just for the moment close it because i've already uh, downloaded tableau on my desktop so something like this will come up over here right a tableau desktop like this will come up now uh, just be uh, aware that my screen my ui over here will be different from yours because i have already created certain dashboards and certain sheets that is why these things are coming up uh, in in my tableau dashboards or in my tableau pane for you will be completely blank and you don't have to worry about it what you need to do is to start with the first dashboard and that's what we are about to move on to we are moving on to how to get data from into tableau now once the tableau is done and you downloaded it and installed it open the tableau this is tableau public this is working on local system right now okay now there are two ways of uh, connecting data to tableau one is through a flat file a file uh, what is a flat file flat file is nothing but uh, the data in which automatically doesn't change for example excel csv json and you have a pdf file and your spatial file or plenty of other uh, formats are there even a video file is a uh, flat file flat file is which, uh, which is downloaded from a source and if the data upload from that data changes from their source the data doesn't get automatically updated in microsoft excel isn't it let's say you downloaded the data of a customer let's say it 10 10:30 a.m. right and if there is another customer joins at 10 10:37 a.m. Uh, for the organization that customer's detail will not get uploaded in the excel automatically as of now right so these kind of files are called as flat files we can collect the flat files or we can connect to a server now if you have a company server and the company server wants to uh, you know uh, the company wants you to use the tableau dashboard over here you can just connect to it you can just click on Or data over here, and then you have to give the link, the cloud-based servers, if they are there, 
you can just click the link over here, sign in, give the credentials and you'll be able to connect your databases to Tableau. All right. Now, if you go to the file, we can go for Microsoft Excel. Let's let's go for MS Excel. Let me create a new file over here and I'll, I'll just create a new version here. I'll close this one. All right. And just to avoid confusion, I'll minimize the browser. All right. So it has uh, opened up a new file for me right now. As you can see, there's hardly any data, but uh, we can just go to the data source over here and click on MS Excel and click on that particular database in the Excel format, which you want to connect. To. For example, let me start with this adventure works database. I'll be using this database for data modeling purposes, right? So I'm taking this database into Tableau. I open this up. And once the data gets downloaded, entire thing which is there in the data, let's have a quick glimpse of the data as well. That's I think that's advantageous to understand how the data is. So I'll just make you guys understand what is the data. So this is how the data is looking like. Right, this is how the data looks like. So the data consists of these five tables. It consists of customers. It consists of product. It comes um, customer as in it, it seems to be something which is customer level information, isn't it? First name, last name, full name, birth date, marital status, gender, yearly income, total children, number of children at home, education status, occupation, house owner flag, number of cars own, address and data first purchase, commute distance. All these are strictly customer level information. I think product table talks about strictly only the product level information. It seems to me the case over here, right? So if we just look into this, if you just see, it talks about product key, it talks about product name, it talks about subcategory the product belongs to, it talks about category, it talks about standard cost, color, list price, days to manufacture, product line. Yeah, needless to say, I think all this information about these products are nothing but the product level information. Okay, this is the product level information. Right, so uh, there's no intersection. Customer level information will be different and product level information will be different, right? Now, if I'm on to, let's say calendar, calendar talks about a date and then there is a date key. There is a year, quarter, month, number. All right, all right, all right, right. So it gives me the entire detail of a certain date. Can I say this? Which quarter does it belong to? Which month number does it belong to? Which fiscal month does it belong to? Even if it gives me, uh, you know, uh, what kind of day it is. Is it a weekday? I mean, what kind of day in the week it is. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it can be done, right? Uh, so that is also available and we can see whether it was a weekday or a weekend, right? That might be required for an analysis purpose. And finally, we have uh, territory, which is territory is giving you the uh, details of the territory. That is a uh, region, country, group, and it gives me something called a sales territory key. Interesting. Right, so every sales territory key is where I'm selling a certain product. Okay, and what are the products I'm selling? These are the list of the product I'm selling. So region, country, group is nothing but uh, the region, country and group to which this particular territory belongs to. Region number one, two, three, four, five, six and so on like that. Right, so yeah, uh, one thing I like to point out over here, now that we are, oh, how can we forget the sales data? Oh. There is a sales data over here as well. So the data along with product, customer, calendar, we have something called a sales data. Now, if you look at the sales data, it talks about product key, the order date, the order date, order word gives me an indication that this is a data of uh, perhaps the sales made by a company in uh, a certain period of time. And uh, every order is nothing but every sales transaction. Order date, then we have something called a shipping date, then we have something called a customer key, promotion key, sales territory key. So one interesting thing that I observed so far is that product key is there, order date is there, customer key is there, and yeah, sales territory key is there. All these four columns belong to one of these four tables over here. That is, this is kind of a summary of what is sold, to whom it is sold, where it's sold, when is it sold. Right. So this table seems to be a summary of all of them. Right. And this gives me this is a transactional level table and it gives me the transactional level details of every sales, you know, every sale transaction. 
right? Uh, one thing I like to point out before I close on this video is that um, there's something called as unique identifier of every table. Now, as you can see, product key is the unique identifier. I think a customer's table is a good example over here. For example, a unique identifier is that particular uh, is that particular variable which is uniquely identifying every row. That is, in this case, every customer. It is uniquely identifying every customer. But you can see, sir, name is there. I mean, every customer has its own name. Correct. So their first name you definitely cannot assign as a unique identifier because the first name might be repeated. There might be two Eugene over here. There might be two Christy. Last name might also repeat. In fact, there are higher chances that last name might repeat. They are rare, but chances are there that the entire name might also repeat. Right. I have one person of my name, right, living in India. Exactly my name, right. So the point is this is also a possibility. Birth date, marital status, gender, yearly income, total children, number of children, education, status, occupation, all of them can repeat. So cannot give any kind of unique identification to a customer. So there is something called as customer key over here. Now customer key, irrespective of whatever commonalities are there between two customers, the customer key will remain different. And that customer key becomes the unique identifier of every customer, that is every row in this data set. Similarly, for product, the product key becomes the unique identifier. The unique identifiers will never match. Every product will be given a unique identifier, right? Similarly, for sales, the unique identifier is probably the uh, well order date, no order date, not shipping. Yeah, sales order number is the unique identifier over here. It need not be the first column in the entire data set, right? In territory, we have something called a sales territory key. And in the calendar, I think the date itself is the unique identifier over here. Right, so every table, every good relational database are having unique identifiers, right? So this is the data that we have just taken into Tableau. I'll just close this, all right, and take you guys back to Tableau. And these are the five tables over here that has come that uh, from, from uh, the list over here that we have seen. These are the five tables we just saw in the Excel file, right? Now, let's see how can we join these table and do something called as data modeling and what wonders can it create for us?